Howdy guys, I'm Nefello8 and welcome back once again to Fire Emblem The Lonely Mirror. This is an FEA hack made by Cladrius, one that has got me crying because I want to know what's up with the story. The first time in a while that an FEA hack has made me like really really invested in the story because I just want the daughter and the dad to be okay. Is that too much to ask? <sighs> anyway, Prelude 2, Snow Chimes, let's see what's up. Oh by the way, um, here we are like 10 parts into the series if you're having a good time you might as well go ahead and subscribe you know there's nothing wrong with subscribing you're having a good time i'm having a good time it's gonna be good right oh the winds look to be picking up we should try to find some cover before we get lost oh i'm looking but i can't see anything white 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 everywhere stupid snow i can't see anything it's like sand it's coarse and rough and gets everywhere oh man you know the commander will kill us if we don't make it out of here i don't know about that i don't know if the cam commander could well, he probably could, like, d d don't get me wrong, he probably could, but in his current state, he might not on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I'd prefer not to die twice. Yep, listen, do you hear something? Hmm, I hear a faint echo in the distance. A bell chime, perhaps? Maybe there's a town nearby. Everyone, advance toward the chime so we can regroup. Huh, interesting. Ah, seems to be clearing up. Huh? Whoa, where'd you come from, buddy? Huh, interesting. The green. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought that was. Oh, I thought that was my guy there for a minute. Oof. <laughs> that would have been kind of rough. Interesting, though. A snowy castle. This guy, what's going on? Boone, did you lead, lead us onto a battlefield? Looks like my lucky day. You guys are mercenaries, right? We're members of the White Lions. Do you have business with us? The White Lions? No kidding. Look, you have to help me out. It's my sister. Something happened? You could say that. Some <laughs> people grabbed her and I tracked them here. And you thought it smart to take this group on by yourself. Yes, if I had to, but then you guys showed up. Wow, this guy's more reckless than I am. Well, you're here now, so you might as well land a hand, right? Can you pay? I don't have any money. We're mercenaries. You realize we don't work for free. We can't just ignore someone in need, Travis. Uh, I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> I mean, nah, let's, let's not. This guy looks kind of cool. And, and we can't be too soft, Boone. If it's a question of payment, then I promise to settle any debt. In that case, I have no objections. Then you'll help? Ooh, percussion music. Yes, but I, ho I will hold you to your end of the deal. I can't say no to such a handsome face. Yikes. <laughs> Count me in. I'm curious to see what this guy can do. Well, this guy is called Miles. Interesting. Well met, Miles. Looks like we will be offering our support. Thank you. My sister should be locked, to any locked away somewhere here. Very nice, very nice. Looks like we are getting a new unit. Very cool, he's blue. Maybe he'll be a good sword user this time. Some more axe dudes. Mason, I bring word. Well, be quick about it. You do know I must send a word immediately. You want to be rewarded, don't you? Yes, sir. Well, you remember that boy who gave us some trouble? Yes, and what of him? Well, he's here now. Is that all? Just kill him. See, he brought friends. I think they might be the White Lions. Hmm, this could be a problem for us. Inform all our men to eliminate the threats. Understood, sir. Also, release the experiments. The experiments? Is that necessary? We can always make more. Delivering this girl and Selzy's bell is the ultimate priority of the Proclaimers. Huh. I realize that, sir. Then I trust you will take care of it. Huh, okay. Interesting. Mason the boss. A fighter having unknown loyalty. He has confidence. Indeed he is. Some steel axe guys. Whoa. Pretty big. Oh, a healer. Lael. A young girl who ran away from home, she tends to be cheerful yet reserved. A wanderer, traveler dedicated, dedicated to healing and light magic. Wow, okay, that's kind of cool. Comes with a heal staff. Huh. Wonder if we'll get her later. Maybe she's the sister to this guy up here, whose name is Miles. A hot-headed swordsman with a strong moral compass, easy to make friends. Comes with a killing edge. Hmm. Okay, power. Looking kind of low, kind of like um, Travis, except for he has a little bit more speed. Let's see what his growth rates are like. Um... Yeah, there they are. 85% HP, 40% power. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, that's Travis. That's the bad swordsman. <laughs> uh, Miles is 65% HP, 55%, no, 50 power, 40% skill, 60% speed, 55% luck, 35% defense, and 25% or 20% resistance. Yeah, your standard Myrmidon. Um, level 2, fire affinity. I like that quite a bit. Maybe we can get some supports going with this guy. I wonder who he supports with. I do like me some fire affinity. The, uh, if he can support with Winifred, then that gives him double crits, and that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Hmm. Eight con. Wonder what that, wonder what the Constitution compares with our other guys. Interesting. He uh, matches with the Lord. I guess that makes sense. 
yeah, it uh, looks like a pretty cool map so far, though a bit of a long one. Might end up having to break it into two parts, um, but I guess we'll see. Defeat the boss is the objective, though there are two treasure chests down here. Assuming we can get some hands on treasure chests, there are two door keys. Uh, we need some chest keys, though. wonder if there's one around here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it comes... Oh, there it is. A five-use one, and then a dark mage. Uh, unknown. I wonder what this is about. Celeste, a mysterious enemy with unknown, unknown loyalties. I guess I should do a better job of checking those. There were some that I noticed in um in post-production that were interesting that I didn't check. Uh, but yeah, I guess we can just hop into it. Hopefully, um, hopefully Travis can do something here. We do have an iron blade that we can give. Oh, talk. Interesting. I guess she is known for her reputation of talking to the boys. I'm Winifred, by the way. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Oh yes, it is quite wonderful indeed. You see. Betty reigns high in, the, high in the night sky right now. It's the constellation of love, you know. Is it now? I, I always thought it was the constellation of uh, making platonic friends. <laughs> oh, he'll come around. They always do. Auntie Winifred gets always get what she wants. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, understandable. Have a nice day. How does Caspi do? If he can just if he can double these guys, I'll just leave him in a way that um, in a position that he can do that freely enough. Uh, he won't die, I don't think. 13 damage. Yeah, he'll be fine. Should be fine to just leave him. Uh, maybe we could leave him. No, we'll, we'll leave him right here. That's fine. Uh, I guess we'll do Iron Sword on this guy. Hopefully we can get some work done. Yeah, we should be able to do that. I don't want to use up the Killing Edge too quickly, but I won't be um, too reserved with it because obviously we're going to be able to buy Killing Edges later. Or at least I imagine so. I mean, like, it would be kind of out, of out of the ordinary to not be able to buy Killing Edges. Um, but, oh, interesting, talk conversation with Travis. I wonder if he can talk with everybody. Maybe that's, um, a way of building character. I'm gonna trade him the iron sword for now. I'll give Travis the blade. Swap over to the steel sword for now, though. Uh, I'll, I'll use the talk conversation later. Um, or will I? I guess I can't check to see if this guy has a hand axe. And if we do get hit, then we die. Oh, well, might as well talk, pop the talk conversation now. I can tell that by that, I can tell that sword you use is pretty nice. Oh, I see. Is that the kind of payment you were looking for? Nah, I just feel like that particular sword would work better in my own hands. Huh, okay. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. They are both swordies, so they would, you know, have something in common. Oh, I get it. You think the sword will compensate for your, for your lack of experience. You're joking, right? Your ruffian swordplay is no match for the refined. Travis, Travis, you have to keep practicing, buddy. You'll get there someday. Huh. Let's see, did they? Did Travis say his name earlier? I don't think he did. But maybe, um, it's assumed that, like, he just... I guess, got to know their names or something. Oh, cool, and talk conversations don't end your turn. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll turn on these animations. Hmm. Interesting, interesting indeed. Let's see, yeah, I'll try this. It shouldn't be um, that big of a deal if he gets hit by a javelin, or a hand axe, rather. Should be more than fine, even, because hand axes will not kill him in one hit, or so I assume. Okay. We don't have a thief, so we can't steal any vulnerabilities that these guys might have. Okay, let's not get hit. We get it. <laughs> it makes sense. Um, I guess we'll have to kill him on the next turn with Winifred, and then we can kill the other one with Caspian. And that should be more than fine. We do have that longbow. Maybe we should make more use of it. I noticed that the longbow is a little bit less accurate than it might be ordinarily. Um, but it should be fine, because Winifred's um, skill growth is... Well, it's 40%. It's not the best in the world. It could be better. But, I mean, she's an archer. Oof, he gets hit by both. Hmm. I'll have to hatchet that guy. Should make my life a little bit easier. Other phase. Hopefully, uh, okay, these guys are all sorties, so they're not going to, like, go in and hand axe or anything to her. Interesting little jail cell. Do you get, ooh, killer axe. Oof. Gonna have to keep that guy in mind. Hopefully he doesn't, oh, in a glacier. Or cliff, I guess. Oh yeah, the glacier. Okay. Very nice. Uh, right. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we'll just hand axe and maybe kill... Huh, maybe kill one of them with Winifred. Wow, she she really does well. Like, I'm really impressed with her so far. I guess, begrudgingly, I will give a kill to Travis. <laughs> Might as well use the units we've got until we have the option to unde undeploy them. He is someone that I imagine that I will probably undeploy, to be honest. He doesn't impress me. We already have um, Adrian, or Adrian. Uh, that's a different hack. Um, we already have Leah as a sword user. Um, hmm. Maybe what we could do is just roll it back a little bit and use a vulnerary with him instead of going the full nine yards using the elixir 
Here's hoping he doesn't get hit by both of them again. <laughs> that would be kind of rough. Especially for my purposes here. We'll just do this. Might as well. Oh, yes. The best animation in Fire Emblem. My favorite one ever. The, the Ephraim Lord crit. I do like Boone so far. Boone seems to be somebody that um, I will not regret bringing along. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that equipped. We'll, he'll probably go for Travis anyway. You White Lions seem to have a pretty fun group. Yep, I think of them as my family. I actually grew up together with Casper and Winifred. Oh, I see. And I suppose I better get used to you guys as I settle my debt. Yeah, well, don't go feeling like this debt is forced on you. Travis can be a bit direct sometimes. Okay, so I guess it's assumed that he talked to Boone first. Of course, there's no way to mandate that or anything, but I guess that's what we're going with. However, debt or no debt, the core value of being a white lion is trust among our company. Okay, so it's like assumed that his, um, his debt will be repaid by, you know, fighting with him and stuff. Interesting indeed. I kind of like it. It's a good, um, good excuse to bring him along. Uh, please don't get hit. Okay. We are fine. And he will kill the other guy on the next turn, too. Caspian, let's get some speed, buddy. I know you have a pretty high speed growth of 60%, or 50%, rather. Hmm. Dang. Uh, skill, luck, defense. I guess he's a little bit tankier now, but I mean, you don't really rely on a fighter for their tankiness, do you? Oof. We're getting hit a lot by the low percentages, both, both, both this map and last map. Guess it's bound to happen. Not an FE6 hack or anything, but, <laughs> you know, guess it do be the way it is. Yeah, makes sense. He gets hit by the Iron Lance guy. A little bit more accurate. Might send um, Miles back. Let him tackle the fighter. And bring our others forward some. Might um, sort of get Winifred going on these guys. Uh, let's see. Longbow. I guess I would have to counter with the Longbow if I were to do anything of that nature. But also, theoretically, I could just kill this guy. And then run down here with Winifred. Attack with the Iron Bow. Swap... Oh, okay, I can just attack with the Iron Bow. What can he do with the Javelin on that guy? Uh, 11 damage. How much would the Knight do? I'm just going to assume he would attack with the Steel Lance if I had the Javelin equipped. Um, but if I did leave the Iron Lance equipped, he would attack with the Javelin. So I could use that to my advantage. Um, he would be doing 19 damage, which would be counteracted by 7 defense. He would take 12 damage. And he would die exactly. Hmm. Okay, but if I use the Iron Lance... Let's see, no, the, um, let's see, so two range moves before, or I mean two range moves after one range, so theoretically the guy who has the one range option would attack first, and he would attack with the javelin at two range. I'm going to put my Fire Emblem knowledge to the test and risk it all on this. If I have to reset, then I have to reset, so be it. But I think I see an opportunity here to be big brained, which is a rarity for me. And then we'll just use Winifred for this guy. I do quite like the um, archer animations. I know that there are actually updated archer animations. I said uh, I misspoke, so to speak, in... Misspoke, so to speak, whatever. You know what I mean. I, I misspoke in the first episode where I said that um, there weren't really any ar updated archer animations that I knew of. There are definitely some really cool ones out there. And I know that this hack uses mostly updated animations so far. Apart from, like, obvious ones like the er uh, Erica Lord and whatnot. Um, theoretically, we won't get doubled here by the guy, even if we use the Iron Blade. We'll lose 3 speed, so... Travis can monkey around with this guy, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, um, we can make use of Travis in some way. Because you might as well use your units while they're deployed, even if um, they steal a little bit of experience. It's no big deal. There's usually, like, almost always enough experience to go around. I guess since he's not going to double either way now, I can just use the uh, Steel Sword again. He's not going to one-shot on the next hit. No point in lowering our avoid even more. Okay, so yeah, we are going to die because I don't have Fire Emblem knowledge. Dang, how unfortunate. Unless that guy doesn't move, which... Okay. Very nice. We're not effective against knights with his personal weapon. Only against cavaliers, so it wouldn't do us any good. Um, but assume, like, since he's not going to move, since we know that now, uh, it's more than fine to just you know, move up buddy up with him. I guess Winifred can do that. Um, let's see. We're, we would need to... This guy's a hand axe. I guess it's no big deal. Just stay wary of the um, uh, dude with the hand axe because we don't want to get Boone killed. I mean, we don't want to get anybody killed, but especially not Boone because, um, I mean, he's your lord. He'll game over. I guess any unit's a game over for me in this situation, though, because I do want to keep everybody. I want to see all of their endings and so on. 
Uh, what kind of damage would she be taking from the javelin? Fifth, 14 minus her 5, she'd be taking 9 from the javelin. He will swap over to the javelin, so I guess we can just do this. Um, hmm. No armor effectiveness, he is a kind of tanky boy. I guess we could bring Caspian down here. Hmm. Um, can't really check the hit rates directly. I guess I could calculate the mountain stuff, but I really don't want to. <laughs> A little bit of a lazy boy right now. Uh, we'll just we'll just iron bow, get him out of the way. Um, how much did I say she would take from that guy again? Like nine damage, I think. Uh, maybe eight. Both of which would have her dead. So I can't really do that. I guess I'll just iron lance, and then I'll swap over to the um weapon. Yeah, I'll just swap over. I'll just trade with Winifred. Get some chip damage in on the um, knight in the process. Got a door key, that's good. Uh, I will have to keep a little bit of a close eye on my um, storage. I guess that is that makes sense, though. That's that's why there's two door keys, isn't there? Or is it because... No, that's why there's two door keys, just in case you have to drop one, or if you drop one by mistake. I would imagine that it would come in handy if you have another door key later on, so I'll just hold on to this one for now. We'll go ahead and start chipping away at this guy. Oh yeah, I forgot that we're using the, um, updated, the, um, let's see, what, what's the, what are they called again? Team Salvaged? Those night animations, some of my favorites in Fire Emblem, uh, at least in Fire Emblem Hacking, because they're not from the original game, they're custom made by the lovely hacking community. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, can attack to here, so we'll just stand here with the Steel Sword. We'll, um, increase our void just a touch by two points, I guess, and we will continue baiting this guy downwards. A 51% oop. Okay. You are trying to redeem yourself, Travis, but you are not doing a good job, so I don't know if I'll forgive you. <laughs> um, guess we'll see how it goes. Yep, and we are not facing that much of a hit rate problem, so we can continue chipping away at this guy. Um, perhaps Caspian can do some meaningful damage to him. And please dodge. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Ooh, it hit. I guess we wouldn't have been fine. Uh, would it, would he have been doing more damage anyway? The killer axe guy really does spook me though. How much are we doing? 21 damage, minus 2 from weapon triangle because I am going to be using boon for this. There's no way I'm not. Um, actually who has more void between him and Miles? 10 speed and 8 speed, but then he would be taking minus like 20 of void because it, web it doubles the weapon triangle. Um... So he'd be taking, I mean, he if he gets crit, he dies, like, flat out. But we can make it so that if he gets hit once, he doesn't die by giving him Miles as vulnerary. We can do it like this. Um, I'm going to hold on to the Slim Lance with him, because I don't want to throw away that door key that we'll, we'll get if we kill. Uh, we will attempt the crit here, might as well. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Making up for the bad RNG. Now here's hoping that the uh, Axe Fighter dude doesn't do it to me. Um, but we will stand here with the Axe Reaver Proficient Weapon, or Preferred Weapon, however you want to say, the PRF. Uh, let's see, that'll be, yeah, perfect. We can knock him down into kill range with, um, or for Winifred. Sounds good to me. The more experience for our archer, the better. I don't just use archers because it's funny to use them either. It's I actually think there's a lot more use in um, Game Boy Advance archers than is commonly talked about. Um, I do actually have some plans for a video revolving around a certain member of this particular subject, but um, that's for a later time. Oof, okay, we're good. A wonderful devil. Yeah, killer axes are not that heavy. They're no steel axes, they're more akin to iron axes in terms of weight. But that looks like another kill for Winifred. And this guy has a chest key. wonder how much damage he's doing to Caspian. We'll just continue to bait him on upwards then. Uh, they have four, one, two, three, four, attacked here, perfect. Kill for Winifred, and then it'll be another kill for Winifred on the other armor knight, uh, apparently. Or perhaps, anyway, I don't, I don't really know. We don't really have any, um, armor slaying weapons. Very nice, dorky. I think she has them both. She also, coincidentally, has the key to my heart. No, I'm just kidding. Not, not yet, anyway. Maybe later on. Maybe she'll end up as my favorite female character. Um, 
But so far I think it's Leah, because I like Leah quite a bit, both in the art and in the character. Uh, let's see. Okay, Iron Blade. We don't really have to worry too much about these guys. I imagine that our Lance Lord will be able to take care of them without much issue. This time with an Iron Lance. And maybe we can give back that Slim Lance too. Maybe he'll double with it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what the heck are these things? No, 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 no. Beings from heck. <laughs> it can't be. Hmm. Okay. Why? Why did things have to come to this, brother? Huh. Okay, I'm glad they're not ambush reinforcements, although they did ambush me a little bit. <laughs> um, but they're not ambush reinforcements in the typical sense of, like, ambushing you and then, like, on enemy phase and then attacking. Uh, are they going to be slow? Okay, so they are kind of weak, uh, as per usual with Fire Emblem Revenants. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I really like this development. I am really glad that we get to fight enemy, like, monster classes. There are not many hacks to take advantage of, you know, like, literally free assets that you can use as long as you write them into the story properly. So far, I'm quite fine with this. Um, this might actually be Travis's chance to do something. Although, what if, instead of doing that, I let Miles do something? What's his defense like? Five? See, this is kind of the thing with Travis, is that Miles is either better than him, or, like, roughly on par with him in every stat. Um, the thing that Mile, or the thing that Travis brings to the table is just having a touch more constitution, which really, really doesn't do anything in the, in the grand scheme of things. And he also has, I mean, it, it does do some things. Like, instead of losing one point of speed, Travis is going to lose, or Miles is going to lose two, two points of speed by doing this, but he also has a point more of speed, so they're, like, on the same level if they use the Steel Sword. Um, Assuming that these guys have, yeah, they have like no speed, so it's perfectly okay to just steel sword it up here. And what's the damage gonna be like? 14, 11, and this guy has like 11 as well. So, like 9, uh, 6, and 6, so he's not even gonna die if he gets attacked by all three. We'll just steel sword it up, and we can get Winifred up there and finish them off, or some of them anyway. Oh right, they only have four movements, so they can't all reach him. And this one did a fantastic job, so to speak, of blocking the other one off. Hmm, very cool. But yeah, this is really cool. I've always loved the monster classes in FE8. They're always some of my favorites to fight, because they're, like, squishy and fun to, like, run through with your swords and stuff. Um, or whatever weapon you end up choosing with whatever unit. Oof. Are we gonna double this guy? He is a Steel Lance guy. Although he's, um, he is a knight, so he's not gonna get weighed down by Steel Lances, going by his constitution. Oof, they're moving in on us, huh? Hmm. Okay, so I guess that's fine. Um, interesting that they will... I mean, I guess it was made up. Like, the story told us that they would be kind of fighting together. Hmm. Oh, we can kill one of them with a longbow. I quite like this. I think we will do just that. That means that we will also be quite proficient with the iron bow. Another level up. Let's get some of that 60% strength growth in order. Yeah. Oh, speed too. Res. And res. Okay. Very happy with this. Uh, yep, and we'll just, um, hmm. I don't, I guess it's fine, we can do this. I have a solution that I don't, you know, that way I don't have to continue to use this. That way I don't have to continue to use Travis either. Um, ooh, now he's just leagues above Travis. I don't know about it, Travis, you said that that sword would be better in your hands, but I'm doubting you pretty hard now. Now he has two points of speed more, or one point of speed of one more point of speed when he's using the um, steel lance or steel sword rather very nice can we get some of your speed growth in order though buddy Caspian hmm not leveling the best for me I guess it's fine though can't really go wrong with an axe fighter it's kind of weird because now I have an infantry unit that I like more than a cavalier and a cavalier and Virgil that I like more than an infantry units I guess we'll see how that ends up developing um, hmm. okay, so he could be in danger here. I'm going to move a little bit back. One, two, three, four, five. Stand here. We don't need to use the vulnerary quite yet. We don't have, um, haven't taken any damage, so we can't. And I have to use one on Miles, though, after this turn. That way he can stay alive. Nice. I might end up giving that kill to Travis just because I need to heal with two people. Um, and because I need to get some help down here. 
with um, these mercenaries. Looking kind of good, looking kind of good. Okay, no, good level up, good level up. That's exactly all the stats we need right now. Maybe with the Slam Lance we can even start doubling. I'm going to back up out of this guy's range because I know that mages, yeah, dark mages in this game are kind of sus. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So anywhere in here is where we'll be attacked. One, two, three, four, five, attack to here. Uh, we'll just retreat back a little bit. Tactical retreat, so to speak. Uh, if we can stand here, we can shoot that guy. So, oh, and I, I completely forgot to give the kill or the uh, healing to Caspian. Not like he's going to do much uh, for us against some sword guys anyway, but it would have been nice to have him healed. Uh, cool, we can longbow. Yep, and then he will um, presumably die on the retaliation strike. Maybe that means we can also bait the other one. How much damage are we doing? Seven with a little bit of a crit rate and ten times two. Okay. Um, one, two. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Attack to here. Perfecto. Should be able to get them both killed pretty quickly. Maybe I could even... I'll place him here and we'll see what we can do about debating that guy around. The um, shaman. Let's not get crit here, that would be kind of bad. We are facing some crit rate for both of them. But that's uh, just the nature of mercenaries, they have the high skills so as, as a result they're going to have some crit on them. We, oh, yeah, maybe that's a bad idea. Those uh, knights are in range such that if they can move to attack you within two turns of their movement range, then they will do it. And I placed him directly in the spot that would have caused that to happen. Okay, how are we doing here? Eight times two. Nine times two. Oh, actually, it's a little bit stronger. Huh. Cool. Wonder wonder why the... Uh, oh, it's because the, the words are that long, too. That's why the text box is a little bit longer. Wonder when we're going to get another longbow, though. They do seem to be quite useful so far. Um, I will... What do these guys have? Lances? Yeah, that makes sense. It kind of balances out the triangle or whatever with uh, these sword guys. Is Travis going to do work for us? Here with the Iron Blade, he's doing only 7 damage. Meanwhile, she's doing this much. Um, hmm. Let's see. How are we doing here? With the Killing Edge, we would die. Um, hmm. I don't exactly trust Travis to make it work either. Hmm. We will throw one of these, and if it hits, then I might be willing to go in with our buddy, our new friend Miles, with an iron sword. 91% uh, chance of hitting, which is actually more like a 98% or something like that in Fire Emblem. Hmm. Or at least GBA Fire Emblem. And I do need Travis's help to get through the Shaman. Let's risk it. If I have to play it again, then I have to play it again. Cool. Very good, very good. We are, we take risks and we're paid um, very finely for them. Although that does remove my ability to um, attack the Shaman without taking damage. Um, eight times two. And eight times, well, one because he would die. And then I can move Travis in right here. Trade him back the Iron Sword on the way and Kanto down. Looking good. Um, hopefully we don't take the damage here because I would like to preserve HP. Oh, okay. Understandable, have day. Um, okay, like I said, I will just do this and hopefully hit. If I don't, then I lose. Okay, good. More of a risk than before. Um, okay, like I said, I will just Iron Sword, or I'll trade the Iron Sword. Um, I guess I have a Vulnerary. And equip that, and then Kanto down one space, and surely he won't die in one hit. Yep, he's fine. He does no damage, though, as expected. These guys are kind of like mini Armonites in a way. Oh, at least he, at least he doubles, you know, gotta respect it. I wonder if the um, Bonewalkers have the constitution to wield an iron lance without being slowed down. Because I know that's something that's been that's happened to soldiers. They've been buffed. They actually don't. They lose one speed. So these Bonewalkers are more akin to regular soldiers than um, the actual soldiers are. Um, how much damage are we taking here? 
10. Mm. I'll just vulnerary up. He's the, like, I would like to have him down there. But he is also the only person who can really get away with using, or get away with tanking this guy. Does he have a javelin? Nope. Mm -hmm. How do I want to do this exactly? I guess that would be fine. I guess I could also do that. Miles would not die in one hit to these guys. Because Travis didn't. And as we all know, Miles is a little bit better. Okay, please hit one of these. Very good. Would have actually liked it if he'd missed the other one so we could have prefer uh, preserved our javelin a little bit. Hopefully now we can get down there and rescue that healer slash like female monk. Would very much like to uh, to uh, have access to a healer right about now. Alrighty, I will take the iron sword back. Although I think we double with the steel sword anyway, don't we? So might as well keep that up. And vulnerary. Very good. I'm not going to bother to heal Travis because like we're almost at the healer. Uh, who has the treasure, or the chest key, by the way? He does. Okay, um, I think I will... I'll grab that, and I will give him the vulnerary. We should be able to grab those chests with Travis. His best use. He is a, um, effectively a thief on a horse right now. Except for he can't steal, I guess. Nice experience there. Uh, did I heal? Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried for a second I didn't heal. And that's good too. That makes it so that you can um, one round that guy on the next turn. Or finish him off anyway, not one round. Perfecto. Caspian doing the job that we need him to do. Uh, we haven't attacked or haven't been approached by the dogs yet. I wonder if they're also in range to attack within two turns. Because if they are, then that means they will attack us before we can get to the healer. Hmm. I guess I'll just attack with Winifred because I, I still want to give her as much experience as I can. She's going to be a mainstay. But it looks like my um my prediction, so to speak, in the last episode might have been correct. We are giving them experience so that perhaps they're on par with our other units. A very fine way of doing that, in my opinion. Creates an interesting scenario, kind of fills us in on background, lets us level them up. I like it. Very interesting developments. I like it a lot. I also quite like this map, although I don't, I don't know um, if this particularly benefits the map. I guess it kind of does, because it like it gives you a, a solid choke point while also not just being inside of the map in a hallway. Or inside of the um, castle, rather. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And we will grab those treasure chests. Lance Reaver, cool. That is not a sword for you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. That will be going to our Myrmidon. Um, but I will go ahead and give you the Steel Sword back, because we don't need that right now. And I will grab that Slim Lance back with you. wonder what we're going to get in the other chest. Perhaps like a Steel Axe or something? Something to give Caspian a little bit more damage output? I could see it happening. Let's see. Oh, a Shine Tome. Okay, that makes sense, because we're about to get a uh, Light Magic user. Uh, let's see, I don't want to, I, I would say that guy's probably in range that he's going to attack within two turns. Although maybe not, because he would have um, ran along with the other ones too, if that was the case. Um, I don't know if I want to heal or not, but I think I'll go ahead and pop a Vulnerary for her. Because we're going to have a healer and all, but I still need some HP to take on some people. Yep. As expected. Hmm. Can we do enough damage, though? That is the question. Hmm. I wonder if the healer is going to heal us as soon as we open the door. Um, I'll probably have to heal with Boone here. Just because I don't want to face crit rates and then die subsequently whenever I uh, inevitably get hit by the crits. Um, I'm assuming that he will be the one to talk to his sister. As a result, I'll place him here. Although he would die to the crit, though. So I guess we'll see how that goes. I shouldn't have placed him right on the door, either. Perhaps, what does Travis do? Um, well, I guess that's fine, because I'm facing crit rate either way. 
So, I could just rescue and then take and drop with Caspian. Yeah, I think I'll do that because either way I would die to a crit. So, oof, they're coming after us. Uh, right. Good job, Travis. Good job. Doing, um, doing the work of the Lord. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can get a healer. Or can we? <laughs> um, what are these guys doing to us? Oh, only two damage, huh? Thirteen and ten. So this one's doing a little bit more. Not doubling, though. What kind of, um... Let's see. So you're hurting a little bit more. And you get doubled by them both, because they don't get weighed in by the fiery thing. Hmm. Okay. Guess we will... How do we want to do this exactly? I should have gone, gone ahead and give him the, the door key while I had the chance. I I had the idea to, but it just like slipped my mind. I guess I thought he had it on him already or something. Mm -hmm. um, indeci indecision is going to get me killed here. Okay, six times two. How much can we do here? If we can kill this guy, that'd be kind of cool. I will use... Um, Mr. Guy here, Mr. Caspian, to attempt a hit. Not that bad of a hit rate. Very nice. That means we can get away with using the Slim Lance and killing that guy. And then we don't have to worry anymore. Very nice, he even dodged. And if he had been crit, then I could have rescued him out with Travis. Although that would have also left um, him in range and stuff. Yep, we'll go ahead and grab a door key. Um, I'll, I'll let him hold on to the shine too, because he'll be right there. Uh, right, these guys have a seven move, if I recall correctly. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna leave him here. Trade back that iron sword. Oh, we've already got it. Alrighty, let's get it. We're closing in on the end of this map. Very fun when it has been. That kind of spooked me. I thought the the howl was coming in before a crit. Although a crit won't kill us, even if they both crits. Actually, if they both crit, it would have done. No, they wouldn't have, um, it wouldn't have been a kill. Very nice, very nice. Uh, oh, he gets a crit. Okay. Miles proving his worth. He will not be shown up by Travis's crit earlier. Very nice. Now we have a healer. Finally. Oh, are you loyal? Guess who might you be? I'm with the White Lions. We have made a deal with your brother to aid in your, in your rescue. Come on, let's get out of here now. Sorry, but they took something important to me. I need to get it back no matter what. This group is dangerous. You can't... I know. But if I don't stand my ground here, they will come after me again. Listen, we need to get out of here now. Why, why so worried? I'll help out too. I'm actually pretty gifted with healing. Healing, you say? We can certainly use that about now. Alright, let's press forward, but if the going gets rough, we will retreat. You do have a point. We do need some healing right about now, but it, uh, we also... Yeah, that makes sense. I was expecting that he had the Shine Tome for some weird reason, but he does. Uh, I should have cantoed him back one. Oh well, yes, that's fine. Miles can be healed up. Perhaps get the experience he needs to level up, and we can give the kill to Winifred. It's clear that I have a favorite here, isn't it? <laughs> yep, and let's see what he gets. Come on, strengths. Okay, he gets speed. Very, very good. Uh, and then... Iron Bow. Very nice. And, and then we can approach the throne room. Get rid of those two Steel Axe dudes. And then take on the boss. And we don't really have to worry about healing with vulnerabilities anymore. So I can just, like, chug right along and, um... Let Lael kill, um... Or heal, rather. Heal, not kill. Caspian. <laughs> sword and axe. Okay, that is pretty cool. Um, although one of them being a sword user means that we can't use the effective damage of the Milarepa. Um, oh wait, I haven't checked her growth rates yet, have I? Okay, uh, here are her stats. Pretty standard healer business. Um, four. So she gets way down by four from the Shine Tome, putting her at one speed. Not the best in the world. Hmm. Okay, her uh, growth rates are 75% HP, 45% power, 
30% skill, 55% speed, 65% luck, 15% resistance, and 50% res. Hmm. How do I feel about that? Huh. She really needs the speed growth to kick in if she's not going to get weighed down. She is a healer, though, and healers are pretty much always useful. The thing with other healers, though, is that they don't have magic, so they don't get weighed down. And she also has a lot less speed than Catherine, so I think I'm probably going to end up using Catherine still. Um, but in the meantime, I will... I mean, I guess I could just not equip her, and that way she doesn't get weighed down, but I mean, these guys don't really care, do they? Like, I, either way, either way that well, this one would care. He would double her. Actually, no, he's a Steel Axe dude, so... It, I guess they don't care. Hmm. Yep, he has a talk conversation with her, but not the... Oh, they do have it the other way around. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Attack to here. So, right there. And we will trade over the Steel Sword. Actually, even the Iron Blade would be beneficial to our cause right now. And we'll can't deal back and heal him up. And then Miles can have some experience. Sorry about the continual moving, just adjusting myself. Uh, Caspian should be more than fine. Just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and vulnerate with him. We have some guys coming in from the back that we need to take care of. Um, this guy should almost certainly go for Miles. Assuming that the combination of them both don't kill him. Um, but even if they do, I think this is okay. They will see that they can do more damage to Miles. This one will anyway. And that one will off himself on him. Uh, let's make sure that we do double. Yeah, we double. We, we double. He has zero speed. Oh, the boss moves. Huh. Interesting. Okay, interesting that he went for Boon. An unfortunate two uses gone of the Miller Rapa that I did not account for. But my knowledge of Fire Emblem has been incorrect already once this map. A second time is to be expected. Oh. Wait, no, I was correct. <laughs> I was completely correct. I just didn't see which one moved. So, actually, I'm good at Fire Emblem, I swear. Okay. In that case... Um, this is a defeat boss map, instead of, like, C's. So we don't have to kill these guys if we don't want to. In fact, they are rather tanky. So, oh, he is, um using a hand axe, so I guess we will have to sort of take those guys on in the meantime. But if it comes down to it, we can just kill the boss and not really have to worry about offing them both. Um, I will leave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I will leave him right here with an iron lance. And we will check to see if he doubles um, 6 speed after the loss of 1. So in that case, we will swap over to the slim lance, and that way we will double for sure. And that also allows me to stand here, trade, talk, and then heal Travis. Lael, well, find some place safe and hide there. I will take care of things. No, Miles, this has nothing to do with you. You should hide. No, run. Run as far away from me as possible, Miles. Lael, well, what are you saying? I'm your brother, right? I will protect you. Oh, Miles. Huh, I wonder what's up with them. They don't have the same hair color, so it doesn't like. It doesn't immediately give me the vibe of brother and sister. But, you know, I guess you don't have to have the same uh, hair color to be siblings in Fire Emblem. Or in, in real life, even. And other than that, I guess we're good to just stand here. We can take out the boss next turn. Um, and if we need to, then we can retreat for another turn. And take out these guys for the experience. I would imagine that Boone will probably one-shot the Axe Dude. With the, um, Milarepa. Uh, yep, he does, but I don't want to immediately do that. First, I want to see what kind of damage we're doing to this guy. I will, of course, use the Killing Edge here. Uh, if we don't crit, though, then can we still take him down? I believe that we can. Because he still has a Steel Axe equipped, which means that even Travis can probably pitch in. Which is a rarity, to be sure. Although he um, faces crit, too. Sketchy. Uh, do we double? That'd be 9 times 2. Hmm. Interesting that the Killing Edge and the Iron Blade have the same... Wow. <laughs> the Killing Edge is just better. Um, but that's standard Fire Emblem stuff. Nothing to do with the hack. Hmm. So if I crit, I'm doing 36, I think, right? No, yes, 36 damage, so... Okay. 
Hmm. You must be strong if you still live. I will end this here. Be nice to get a crit. Oof. Okay, no crit. We do have to kill them now. Um, hmm. guess I'll throw a hand axe and I'll give the kill to best girl. I guess we could check out the healer light attack once and save the use of the iron bow or something like that. Maybe, maybe they even have a boss conversation. Although, oops. Huh. Um, actually, I'm going to rewind and just, like, turn on her animations just in case she crits. Because <laughs> I would like to see them. Uh, let's see. There we go. That doesn't really change anything, right? Not really, cheating. You are a traitor to the Proclaimers. Give me back Celeste's bell. So that's how it's going to be. Here I come. Well, no, you don't. You're just going to stand there. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, interesting. Interesting that I mentioned Adrian earlier because that's her animation. Um, but since we're going to end this turn anyway, I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and get the experience from this guy with a nice, juicy, delicious crit. And then we get the archer to kill the boss and we are good to go. With Travis as a backup in case we somehow miss two 97s. Imagine Travis being your backup though. It appears fortune smiles on you for now. Yep, indeed it does. Let's get a good level up. Come on, strength. Come on, strength. Speed and strength. Speed and strength. Come on, be a good archer. Yes, speed and strength and luck and res. This is going to be a good unit. This is going to be a great unit. Is everyone okay? Only a, only a few scrapes and bruises, but we're all in one piece. Uh, I guess I was a little over in my head. Or a little in over my head. Only a little? Are you going to talk about those those things? Monsters, or I don't know. Hey, don't look at me. I've never seen them before. I don't know what to think anymore. I've recovered my mother's bell. I can't thank you enough. I'm happy you were able to find it. Is that bell precious to you? Oh yes, very much so. Something that I can't seem to understand is why why their leader decided to safeguard that old bell. Hmm. You do make a good point. I wonder if this girl's going to have story significance. I guess that would make sense because if you had like somehow gotten her killed, she wouldn't have been able to appear in this. Hmm. I wonder if that's accounted for, actually. If you get if you get one of them killed in this map, if that's accounted for in the story. Probably is. Yeah, that did seem strange to me. An old bell like that would only get you 30 gold max. Does it like grant wishes or something? Maybe resurrect the dead? Um, well... Yeah, I, I guess he hit the nail on the head. My sister's been through enough today. Oh, I'm sorry. Did your sister recently fail her first mission ever? <laughs> Did she get lost in a blizzard only to be hired to fight off monsters for some stupid old bell? Boone, you're stressed, man. Look, Miles, our day hasn't been rainbows and butterflies either. Sorry, I guess I'm on edge too with the hostage situation. Lale, did you happen to hear anything about the monsters? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. Okay, then let us know if you remember anything. Alright, I will. We should inform the commander about this too. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, hey guys. There's a griffin. Shall I kill it? What? No. Put away your bow, Winifred. Hmm. Wonder who that is. Oof. Now I'm worried. Ah, white lions. I've been looking high and low for you. Something the matter? Yes, in fact, I have here an important contract from the royal family. Here. Wait, how did he... How did he find them? Huh. What seems to be the problem? We are anticipating an attack on Munikro. I can't be. Hmm, I doubt Amatona would have a death wish to engage in this type of attack. Unfortunately, it's so. As explained in the contract, the Royal Knights will oversee defense in Munikro. They've contracted the best mercenaries in the area to ambush the enemy. The White Lions will take part in, this, in the ambush. Hmm, I see the commander has approved this contract. It's one thing after another. I'll pass on the message to the others. Well, my job here is done. I'll be off. Wait a minute. Do you mind passing on a message for me? Oh? Huh. Hmm. That is a curious tale. I will pass on the message. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know about that one. So we have another job. It appears that way. Let's first take these things first take these two back to Minicro. Hey, I can help in your in your next mission. You know, settle my debt. This is a mission for the White Lions. You and your sister will wait in Minicro. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's perfect, because I want to be a white lion. I understand, but this will have to wait until you meet with the commander. Travis, come on. You don't agree? You will need more discipline to join our ranks. You will wait, Mooney Crew. Come on, Miles. Let's just do what they say. 
or fine. All right, everyone, we have a big battle ahead of us. Let's make sure to make the, let's be sure to make the necessary preparations. Very good. That will be the end of this map. Um, I guess that means we're probably going to hop back into the regular story after this, right? Um, huh. I guess I could like just press the save button and see, but I I'll I'll just wait until the end to do that. After the thoughts on the map, anyway. Um, pretty good. Like nothing really to complain about. I guess like the only thing, like as I said in the in the middle of the map, was that like the um the little like glacier thing in the middle. It's kind of it's just kind of strange to me that you can't move on those because it seems to be frozen over. Like perhaps it could like give a penalty or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's about it. I like I said during the middle of the map too. I also like the inclusion of monsters. I hope we get to see more of that throughout the game. I do like fighting those. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see what's up with that next time, or maybe sometime later. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, the usual. If you're having fun here on this 10th episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're in for a journey. This is a fun game. And until next time, I'll see you later.